you guys. This is the homeschooling perfectionist here. I first have to apologize because I know I've been MIA, but I want I just started homeschool. Um, we've, we're in our sixth week, and I wanted to make sure that my lesson plan and everything that I've done for the entire year actually worked, and it has worked, so I'll be doing a video on that shortly. But I had to come on here and do a video um, about the containers I purchased, the Melissa and Doug Spill Proof Paint Cups. Now I purchased these, I purchased two sets of them. They come in four, so I purchased two sets of them. And um, I I purchased them, I was trying to find some cups that I could put uh, paint in. And um, I purchased these back in the summer, you guys. Let's see if I can open it with one hand. I really need to get a tripod. Okay, so this is, you know, you can put them in here and we dip our, our brushes in there. And then when I'm done, I put the tops on them. So um, I wanted to do some painting today for school, and I figured I'll go and um, I haven't been, I haven't, we haven't painted and or at least used these for about at least two months. So I thought these things were gonna be hard. I dipped my finger in the brown one. I believe this is brown. Yeah, I dipped my finger in this. The paint is literally still moist. I was so shocked. The paint has been in these containers for at least four to five months. And because we got this way before, um, way before we did um, homeschool, I wanted to do something for like summer school. So these things have, this paint has been in here that long and it's still moist. I'm very, very shocked. Um, again, these are by Melissa and Doug Spill Proof Paint Cups. They have a lot of different paint cups. But the, there were pretty good reviews with these particular ones, this particular brand. We also have some brushes I, I purchased, just any regular brushes. I really don't care for the brushes too much. I, don't, I forgot the name of the brand. These aren't Melissa and Doug brushes. But um, I did purchase the brushes because I like the fact that they were color-coded. So I got that. Um, again, this was back in the summer. The paint that I used is the Washable Kids Paint by Crayola. There are 10 colors in here, um, each two ounces each. I'm gonna open up one so you can see. This is the size, so this is my hand, and this is the size. So not super big, but they're good enough, you know, if you can put them in here and they last that long, right? Um, some people say that they stain or they don't wash. I haven't had any problems with that. They washed off perfectly fine for me. Um, but everyone is, is different. And then of course I got me a, a smock and I got some paper to paint on and stuff like that. So I just really wanted to just give this review because I was just so fascinated by the fact that those cups still, um, kept the paint fresh. So if you're trying to figure out what paint cups to get, um, if you want, um, these are still food, you might want to look into this. Now I store these in the basement, so it's cooler down there. So they're not in the, like a warm, you know, area. I live in the Midwest, but um, nonetheless, our basement is still pretty much. Um, cool even in the summer. So these are stored in the basement. Actually, I'm holding these cups right now and they're kind of cool, cold. Not super cold, but they're, you know, they're cold. So, um, yeah, they're, nice. they're a nice temperature. So it's not like I stored them somewhere where it was warm or anything like that. Um, and I put them like in the back where all of our storage stuff is. And I, I literally just put the top on, make sure it's in there and I put them on here. They're not super runny or anything like that, but this paint, sorry about that, this paint really isn't that type of paint anyway, because it's washable paint. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm really happy that I don't have to wash these things out before we do our painting. So I just wanted to say that, um, talk to you guys later. Don't forget to subscribe. More videos coming, I promise. Just got to get everything taken care of with the whole homeschool stuff, of course. Thank you, and I thank you for tuning in, and have a great day. Bye-bye.